What you doing, little birdie? You always know when I'm recording. He always knows when I'm recording and he likes to strike poses and be extra cute. No, get off, get off, get off. All right, so I got a scrawler box that I can't wait to look what's inside. So I'm going to do that. And then Ramses comes to sniff, of course. What's in there, Angel? Let's take a look. Let's move somewhere where there's better lighting. And my hair's a mess. And Angel, are you a mess? Are you a mess? <laughs> I think he's a mess. I think so too. I think we're two messes, right? <laughs> so there's a big bunch of mess also behind me. The craft room is nowhere near being done because I'm just bombarded at my schedule and I've been going through quite a bit in the last few months. So I didn't even try to clean anything up. But I'm super excited about my scroller box, so let's look at what's inside together, right? <laughs> You're always so excitable. Ah, not the camera! <laughs> All right, so I am ex- Oh no, don't tell me I need to cut more tape. Oh no, I need to cut more tape. Let's see if I could do it with one hand. I have no nails. I don't know. I have big admiration for crafters who can craft with nails because even without nails I have like no dexterity. I am such a klutz. I think, I think we got this. I think we got this guys. Angel do you want to come down? Do you want to come down and help me open it? Because your beak is sharp. I know your beak is pretty sharp. Okay I think we got this. Ready? Ready? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to open this and Okay, I'm trying to open this. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, there's like really cool things. This is a gorgeous print. Angel's being rowdy because he's... Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So this is the artist. So I'm just going to leave this here. And if you guys want, you can pause it. Oh, she has a YouTube channel. I'm going to definitely check that out. Okay, I thought this was the bottom part of the box, but it's actual paper. Ooh, so I can actually use this paper to color on, which is pretty neat. This is really nice thick paper, and then there's a darker one. Ooh, I love dark paper, because when you do anything that is, what's it called? Metallic or shimmery, it shows up much better on this kind of paper. So now, let's look at what's in here. I'm just going to slide them out. Ooh. What's it, what's that? There's one more thing inside. Okay, so let me gather them and then show you guys. Okay, this is really exciting. You guys have no idea. So since I'm pretty new at coloring and drawing, this for me is like a treasure. So I was looking here and they always give the subscribers a challenge and the challenge is honeybee so I'm going to try and sketch up a few ideas so that Monday I can do something with the theme I'm pretty basic so I'm nowhere near as skilled as my polymer clay and I even think my polymer clay skills need work but I'm super excited to try this they gave like all these awesome things so the first thing is a set of Faber-Castell and I hope I'm saying this right polychromos pencils I've been really curious about these because a lot of people compare them to, uh, what's it called, Prismacolors. And I've been super curious, but you know, th these, these pencils are usually really expensive. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Okay, so yeah, they're usually pretty expensive. So to be able to get a sample of these colors is pretty epic. And of course they give you a metallic pencil sharpener because when you have expensive and really great quality pencils like this you need a fully metal sharpener. I know it sounds like it doesn't make a difference but if you get the one that has a metal sharpener and a plastic surrounding it actually is not good for your pencils so you definitely need a um, fully metal sharpener otherwise they won't sharpen as as well. 
And then there's a magic marker, which I wasn't sure what that was, but it says down here that it is a, an ink marker. So I don't know what xylene is. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it's an ink that is practically odorless and it has both a chisel and a point tip. So I'm, I think I have an idea. I would like to use these two together for sure. And then I have to think of my honeybee idea with this one. So I'm going to try and stay within my style, which is kind of loose and easy. And that's probably because of lack of experience. <laughs> But yeah, so I want to try this out. I'm going to definitely try everything on a piece of paper just to have an idea. And then this is really neat because when I was working on my piece, there were a lot of fine details that I had a hard time going in. And this is actually an eraser. Look at that. So it's refillable and you can take out the eraser and go into little nooks and crannies. So all this here comes in the box and there's a sticker and a little bubble gum oh is that a dragon a little bubble gum to chew while you do your art stuff so you get pencils marker eraser pencil sharpener and some real good quality paper which they did mention what the paper is it's down here it's i'm gonna massacre this hanemu mule hanemule hanemule Animal Lana Pastel Paper. I am most likely going to search this paper. It even has like this gorgeous texture on it. So I'm going to be looking these up. Uh, does this one have texture? Yes. Okay, so these are really pretty. I can't wait to make something. If you guys want more information on Scrawler Box, I will leave it in the description box below of the video that I'm going to release. But of course, you can already do search because you know the name. And if they say anything, tell them Nerdy Crafter sent you because I am super excited. I can't wait to do these cool things. But this print is gorgeous. I really want to check. Wow. I really want to check her out. So I'm going to go check out her YouTube channel now. Maybe it's a he. Yeah, Maria. Okay, it's a, it's a she. <laughs> I know I froze for like two seconds, but I was just reading and I got totally distracted. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm so excited. She sent me the original. I am freaking out. She sent me the original. This is gorgeous. I can't say enough how beautiful this is. Maria, you are so talented. I love her so much her art is amazing fantastic i mean oh my goodness the original you have no idea 